guys, it's me, Miss Melanie again. Miss you guys so much. I hope that you are doing well and everyone's healthy and safe. Miss you so, so, so much. Okay, so for math this week, we are going to skip lesson 24, which was is about money. And uh, if we have time, we'll come back to that at the very end of the year. But we're going to skip that for now, and we're going to go to lesson 25, which is adding and subtracting tens. And we have our um, learning targets. I can use counting on and counting back and strategies based on place value to add and subtract multiples of 10. And I can relate adding tens and one, adding tens to adding ones. So those are our two learning targets for this chapter. So let's take a look. These are the types of things that you're gonna see in your book. So let's take a look and see what those are. So if I had a problem that looked like this, 20 plus 30, Okay, that's 20 and 30 are big numbers that they're asking me to add, but you guys, I'm sure that there are some of you already shouting out the right answers because you guys are so smart. Um, if you can't just look at this and think in our brain and know what the answer is, we have strategies that can help us figure this out. So one of those strategies is, I'll show you a couple of them. First off, let's look at these in our tens. So 20 is two tens. So we'll draw two tens. And 30 is three tens. So now we have two tens plus three tens. So I can look at those and you can either count them or some of you can just look at them and go, I have, I now have one, two, three, four, five tens. And if you guys remember from our tens and ones lessons, we know that if we have five tens, we can also count by 10, but we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So five tens equals 50. So 20 plus 30 equals 50. Another way of thinking of this is, I mean, the, the zeros on the end are important, but if we ignored them, like if we had 40 plus 70, sorry, 40 plus 40, and we just ignored those two zeros, that would be, I'll just take them off even though we know that they're really there, that would be 4 plus 4. Let's put those back. Because we know that 0 plus 0 equals zero and zero minus zero equals zero, right? Because you can't add nothing to nothing and you can't subtract nothing from nothing. So we know that four plus four is eight. That's one of our doubles. And zero plus zero is zero. So 40 plus 40 is 80. So that's another way. That, that's this one where I can relate adding tens to adding ones. If you look at that and just ignore the zero, when you first are thinking about what the answer might be, that's relating it to, to adding ones. You're also gonna be subtracting. This is an adding and a subtracting chapter. So let me make some room. Okay, so if I had this problem, 80 minus 50. Oh no, those are big numbers. 80 minus 50, that's pretty big, right? You can do two things. Again, you can look at your tens and ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight tens. And eight tens, we know, is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Eight tens is 80, right? And we want to subtract 50 of them. So... That's not subtracting 50 lines, right? That would be subtracting five of our tens or five lines. So we could cross them out. One, two, three, four, five. I just subtracted 50 from that 80. So this is what I have left. How many lines do I have right there? I have three tens 
10, 20, 30, three tens equals 30. So we know that 80 minus 50 is 30. Okay, another way to look at it again is just by using your, the, those first numbers. So if I had that same problem, 80 minus 50, Let's start by just ignoring those zeros. So they're there, they're just ghost zeros. Eight minus five, well, you can use your fingers or you may know how to do it, but if I have eight and I subtract one, two, three, four, five, I have three left over because eight minus five is three and zero minus zero is zero. So we come up with the same answer both ways. So that's what this chapter is all about. It's adding and subtracting only tens, only tens. You guys can do it. You are so, so smart. I know that you can do it, okay? Um, that is what you're gonna be doing this week. Again, as usual, please ask Miss Cindy or myself if you have any problems or questions um, or if it seems like your child is not understanding, please, please, please let us know and we can do a one-on-one -on -one or a small group with them to help them understand. Um, I don't know about Miss Cindy, but I know that I still haven't gotten test scores from a lot of you for that Unit 3 test that we asked you to give your kids on Thursday. So if you wouldn't mind giving that test and getting those scores to me ASAP, I would really, really appreciate it. That way I know who I need to be doing math small groups with to give them additional support in areas that they might be struggling with. Uh, math pages that they are going to be doing this week. Uh, the required math pages, because we only have four days, there will be eight pages, uh, 583 and 584, 589 to 590, 593 to 594, and 595 to 596. Those are the required math pages. And of course, as usual, they can do any additional math pages that they choose if you would like them to. Um, don't forget to do your PE. The PE is in the email. Um, and this week is starting the Better World Day Connection Service Learning Challenge. I'm hoping that many of you can participate in that to represent first grade. Um, each week, service learning will have something for our kids to do as service to other people. Even though we're in a pandemic, we can still serve others. And it's a great way to get through this pandemic is by serving others. This week is... They're going to have packets made up that you can pick up on Tuesday and Wednesday this week dur what, during breakfast distribution, which is 10.30 a.m. to noon. Um, packets for you to make cards, thanking those that are on the front lines, as well as uh, members of a senior living center, I believe it is, that's in Magna. Um, just cards to help cheer them up because they are uh, quarantined to their rooms their rooms during this time and aren't able to see any family or whatnot. So if you would like to participate, I hope, hope, hope you would, please pick one of those packets up during breakfast distribution Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning this week between 1030 and noon and get those cards made and take pictures of them and send them to me and you can post them on the uh, Entheos website, there are a couple hashtags. Uh, I know one of them is Entheos Cares. I'm not 100% sure what the other one was, but we would love to see our first graders participate in this, and I'll be participating as well. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. You guys are loved, and you're amazing, and you're smart, and just keep doing all that you can do. Um, do not forget to do your iReady minutes this week. It's super, super, super important that you're getting those iReady minutes in um, because it really, not only does it help the student, your student grow immensely, but it also shows me and Miss Cindy where they need the most help in math and in reading so that we can support them even when they're not with us. So, okay, have a great week and we will talk to you soon. Bye!